know how to start this vlog out because it has been like seven and a half months or more. It's actually been since December. This is July. I don't have my watch on. This is like July 14th, I think. Um, so this is the first time that I have filmed since right at New Year's. Um, so I guess opening up this vlog will be a little chattier than normal. So some of you have reached out and contacted me at the point that I sort of like paused my YouTube channel um, and mentioned like that y'all were missing seeing the vlogs and asked if we were okay and everything. So first off, I want to say thank you to anyone who checked on us. There's actually several that have frequently kept up with us and um, I was kind of surprised because I feel like, I don't know, like I know people care but I don't ever expect anyone to be that involved I guess um so it was really nice to see that some of you genuinely tried to keep up a few of you started following me on Instagram but so first off I want to say thank you if you checked on us just to see how we were and how things were going we are doing great we have had a lot of um life changes I guess and just growing up Willow growing up that's um, my daughter if you have not been around here for a while she is actually turning three in September I can't even comprehend that and don't really want to think about it. I might end up crying. Um, but just to kind of summarize what happened in December, we are, I done vlogmas on my channel. So I had a vlog every single day for like 30 days and it was a lot of work, but actually it also like a lot went into it, but I also expect it to be a little bit harder than it was. I was sort of surprised. Um, so I didn't really get like vlog burnout because I really enjoyed the full process, but in January rolled around and I don't know I just had a lot of things where I was like I'm spending a little too much time on this I need to step back and um, rededicate myself to my family and raising my daughter and all of that and I just like I just kind of paused I guess so I had I didn't make an announcement or anything I just like put my channel to private um, I did respond to a few people that were keeping up with me by email and different things, but I didn't really like, like I just deleted the app, like my YouTube studio app and all that. I just deleted and I didn't check it. I was checking it too much and I felt like it was taking a lot of time. And also we just had a lot of things changed. And, um, so my husband, Michael got a new job and it was like our whole, like our life schedule and everything is just different now. Willow getting older, she has become very, very mobile. She is like 100% your typical toddler. She is smart as a whip, so <laughs> she's asking a lot of questions and needing to learn and be taught different things each day. And we're starting kind of like a, a very basic, I guess, I don't even want to say preschool, but just learning and stuff. So that takes more time. Um, there was just a lot, like I can't even remember it all. We had a few little, like, tiny family things we done. We took Willow to the zoo for the first time. That was really fun on our anniversary. We also celebrated 10 years married in April. Um, if you were following along last year, January of last year, I started, so January of 2022, I started, um, like, my, I don't really want to say weight loss journey because it's a weight loss journey, but also just getting healthier. And I don't really have a problem with, like, talking about my weight. Growing up, it, I was... I had such an issue with that and um, I don't know like I just kind of woke up one day a few years ago and I was like I am who I am and what I am and I don't really care if somebody doesn't like that it doesn't bother me um, I've always been a bigger girl from preteen to teenage to now my adult years and I will actually be 27 this year and I feel like your late 20s is kind of where you start trying to set the pattern for your life so that's kind of just what's been going on with me last year i started losing weight in january i started off i was 290 pounds could not believe i had let myself get that big but um i've had a lot of hormonal issues and just their genetics are not in my favor when it comes to that and i had been pregnant one time miscarried gained a little bit with that but it was of course quite easy to lose then and then i was pregnant with willow i gave birth really early then afterwards just just motherhood and I dealt with a lot of edema and stuff and I got all the way up to 290 pounds just kind of woke up one day and I was like I've got to change I need to do better for me for Willow long term and I was just sick of being the way that I was so I started off at 290 last year I got down to 2 
56, 57, and then throughout the fall and the winter, like where I would have left off in December and Vlogmas, I was 265. So starting back this year again, I decided instead of so much focusing on like losing so much per week or whatever, that I just wanted to be healthier and lose weight a healthier way. So I have been doing a little bit of calorie deficit at times, but mostly focusing on getting in protein and fiber and stuff. And I dropped down to 248. So that's not a huge um, loss like number number wise, but I believe it was mostly like like a good fat loss versus just overall. I feel better. I um, have gone down like one or two clothing sizes and honestly just overall feeling like my stamina is better. Um, eating, I've learned so many things. Like I don't really want a lot of the things I used to would reach for. I'm currently working on water intake. It's like, it's been a struggle for me. But that's something I'm trying to focus on right now. So that's really just been the majority of what's gone on this year. And at the beginning of the year, I was just kind of like, honestly, like midways through January, whenever I decided, okay, instead of this just being a break and I'll get back to it, I had just decided like I'm done with YouTube. Um, one thing that I will mention is, I think it was close to this time last year, I decided that I would not share Willow, my daughter, on my channel because I wanted to keep her privacy, you know, all that. Didn't want to overshare and also I just felt like like, this is my channel. She didn't decide to have it. And I don't ever want her to look back and see something and feel uncomfortable with me sharing that. So, just for my personal, I guess, preference and also just with all the privacy laws and stuff, I won't be sharing her here. So, this will still be homemaking, grocery hauls, cooking, all that decorating. But I want to just kind of clear up where I've been and what my approach is from here on out since it has been seven months. Um... I put a lot of time in last year to doing like a schedule. I was getting out a video every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, sticking to the time, all that, and it made it hard because there was nights where like I really needed sleep or I needed to do this or just relax, and I couldn't because I knew I had to catch up on editing, uploading, whatever, and it just made it really hard. So right now, and probably through the unforeseeable future. <laughs> um, I'm not planning on doing a schedule or anything. I'm just going to upload as I get a chance. I'm going to go for like one a week. But it that might not happen. That's just like my mindset right now. So <laughs> they may be like longer vlogs once a week. Or it, I mean I might have a week that I don't have one. It's just kind of just hit and miss. So I just wanted to make that known. Um... I guess also I am still going to be doing collaborations and things. It's just, it'll probably be greatly reduced from the way that I handled things last year. So I still have the same email if you want to reach out to me and I'm on Instagram and all that, but I'm just like, when I started this year out, I just really stepped back from social media. So I have Instagram, Facebook, all that set to private. It's just, I don't want to be like an influencer and I don't honestly pay attention to a lot of people or a lot of things that's going on like that. So I'm not interested in doing that kind of thing. I tried it last year and it just wasn't for me. And there was a lot of things that I felt like was being pushed by other people like that you had to do to grow a YouTube channel. And I'm not really worried about that at this point. I feel like it's just something that I really enjoy doing and I like to go back and look at the stuff. So I guess I'm here to say I'm back. I just don't know how I'm back. I know it's going to be different. So I don't know how often I will have videos up, but I started this one out kind of long just to sort of explain what had gone on. Nothing happened. Nothing changed. It was just like I just woke up one day and decided, like I had been thinking about it, but I just made my mind up that I thought I was done with YouTube. And I've just really been missing it a lot lately. And even editing, I find it relaxing. So um, I'm back. I, I'm going to do my best to get some uploads up, but I could still have phases where I just don't have any up um, but I just I'm not making it a priority like I was because it's just not a priority for me it's just more of a hobby and something I enjoy so so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is I'm just gonna take the grocery haul but I'll get uh, groceries delivered in the morning and do that and then this weekend we have a few things to do there's a lot that's changed around our house. We've swapped bedrooms around and gotten a few little new things here and there. Actually, this week or weekend, we are planning on swapping dining tables with my mom. She's given us, um, she has a bigger one that's wooden. And so the little white one that we've always had, you can go back and vlogs if you want to see 
like old decorating blogs and stuff. I had that mainly for Willow while she was little and she's getting bigger and we need more space. So we're going to trade with them. Her and my dad don't need a lot of space. They wanted something smaller. We wanted something bigger. So <laughs> we're going to swap that this weekend. And then I just have a lot of little things like I'm in our bedroom right now that I want to do. I'll just show y'all a few things, I guess. So one of the things right now, um, Willow is not in our room anymore and we have to fix this wall over here. We recently had to replace the bathtub last July. It started messing up and um, we ended up having to replace it. I need to paint over this mark right here. We had water damage that we had to fix. And then I think, I'm thinking about painting the wall in here. I just don't know when or what. And so when Willow was in here, she had her crib here and we had these little decals. I need to take the decals down. Where the crib was, I got this little antique vanity like dressing table. It has like all the original little um, wheels, like they're wooden wheels and everything. It's just, it's very, very old. It's kind of nicked up, but I actually think I like it this way. And you can see like the, I don't know, the craftsmanship of it. <laughs> And I have a lot of little things I want to put over here, but I've just set random stuff. Um, this is the original mirror and everything, but I really love it. And I need to get these off of the wall. And then I have so many little things over here that I built up in this little storage bucket to hang on the wall and change it and make it look better. For the most part, I guess life is still as different as it is. It's very much the same. Um, so not much will be different about my channel as far as what I upload. I'm still wanting to do day in the lives and clean with me's and things. It's just, I'm not, I feel like from here on out, I'm just not going to guarantee anything schedule wise or anything. I don't know. I might come to a spot, especially as Willow gets older and things get a little more um, structured that I might decide differently. But for right now, it's just kind of going to be hit and miss. Um, so with that being said, I don't know when this one will go up. Probably this weekend because as silly as it sounds, I really miss editing. And at this point, I will have that done. But I am working on like new intros and stuff. And just kind of trying to keep things a little easier and simple. Where I don't have as much to worry about on editing or things for my channel. Um, but yeah, drop comments below this video. And I don't know, just say hi. It's been a while since I've talked to a lot of you guys. We'll a little bit of the grocery haul tomorrow on this um i'll have them delivered it's going to be small that's another thing this month we're trying to spend a little bit less to catch up on some things so <laughs> it's going to be very basic for right now um i'm sure when fall rolls around i'll be more motivated to do a lot more of that kind of stuff but for now just some simple homemaking and lifestyle everyday stuff and yeah so um willow is taking her nap right now and i thought that i would show y'all like I guess a plant update I know it's probably hilarious but um, I have become like a plant lady apparently because never could keep anything alive and this is now my second year so the plants that I originally bought and showed you guys last April um, like I'm slowly filling my house up more and taking clippings off of them but I had like a few little updates in the house so um, I'm cleaning today I'm not gonna film that today because I want to get it all done where I can kind of like start with a clean slate with everything and not get backed up. But um, we're just going to show you all a few little things that have changed in the short but long seven months since I vlogged last. So I've got my lunch in the microwave if y'all hear a weird noise. But this window used to have different curtains and I had the freezers there. We have since moved the freezers to the back bedroom and swapped storage rooms around and stuff. And I now have this little um, vintage wicker rattan whatever <laughs> shelf over here that I'm using for plants and I have lots of new I call them babies um there's just odds and ends this is actually a baby off of the first plant that I bought which was a spider plant last year and I remember sharing with y'all and I was so excited um but I'm about to cut more off of the big one I'll show that in a minute and then this is a um a Swiss cheese plant or like I think it's like referred to as that and it's like mini monstera or whatever but it's the one that vines I can't wait for that one to grow I've got to plant that today I've got some seeds planted that I'm working on not sure that's gonna take off I think that one might be a kick in the bucket <laughs> this was a clipping off one of my main plants it's getting kind of leggy I need to figure out what I need to do with that I've got an ivy up there that's another clipping that I need to repot um, this one right here is like a little parlor palm that started out when I bought it it was 
I gave half of it to my mom, but when I bought it, it was this size, so it's doubled in size, um, and it's starting to, like, fan out. I love this little pot. I got it at TJ Maxx, and then this is the table we've always had. <laughs> like I said, I'm cleaning up willows all over the place these days. This is one we're going to trade with my parents. I also started some air plants, so, like, when I got this one, it was small, like, inside my hand, and I've made it, oops, I've made it bloom quite large, and this little face right here cracks me up every time and then over here this is the original spider plant i feel like such an old lady telling y'all about this but i'm so excited <laughs> i moved it over here and it has tons they're actually called pups but i call them babies but they have tons of babies that's dropped off i need to cut this one and let it root and then i need to cut that one maybe this one if not very soon that's a new one that I also split in two. I need to trim back. This is the original ivy <laughs> from last year, and it's starting to kind of marble. Um, I've been taking clippings off of that one. I got this one, which is like, I think it's like golden pothos or something, but it's really pretty. Um, I think I need to kind of pin some of it back or something. And uh, we hung some over the window, and I have more I'm going to hang. And then I have two over here. This one was that original, I think it's called Red Veined Nerve Plant. And then I got a curly um, spider plant that just started blooming outward. So that's a little wind chime willow done this week. So all in all, it's not a lot um, quantity wise, but I'm just really proud. I've never been able to keep plants alive until recently. Um, the, oh, by the way, nothing new. I'm still wearing the same. <laughs> sweatshirt all the time because I'm cold and then another little slightly updated area I got this vintage hook from um, a local antique shop and then a new apron it's my new apron hook I finally got the coffee pot I was telling you guys about I ended up getting it like $20 off it's got the single K cup and then the pot but actually I still think I'm gonna invest in an espresso machine at some point um, I think all this was <laughs> relatively the same, but I still really just love this area. I have more um, tiny air plants that I have a, like a little project thing I'm doing with them. So, everything's still the same. This is what's exciting in my life. And this is something that was also a thrift find. It's made to hold your recipe card while you cook. Um, I'll leave it right there. Again, Willow's taking a nap, so I'm trying to be kind of quiet gotta put this stuff up and this is like my favorite thing so far I got this at a thrift store and it's like vintagey farmhouse looking I love it also y'all were with me last year when I painted this wall and a few months back I was boiling I think eggs back there and the steam I had it pointed at the wall and it just bubbled the paint off I guess it's like latex um <laughs> so I was like super bothered at first and wanted to immediately touch it up but now I'm thinking it kind of has that whole farmhouse vibe and I actually that is like a goal over the next two years I'm slowly as I find things making it more vintagey like authentic farmhouse I guess I'm sitting down with lunch um one of the things that I have been loving lately is the LaCroix or LaCroix I've heard it said both ways but I believe it's LaCroix <laughs> I have been loving these even the plain ones but I like this limoncello one and then this is the Panera broccoli soup I renewed my Sam's membership this year and they sell these in little single serve cups so I am already counting down the days till fall as per usual <laughs> and really missing soup weather so I've been making soup lately so this has been my new go-to for when I want uh, like a, a coke type drink and then I've been working on water like I was talking about earlier. It's just a struggle for me. For some reason it never has been, but it really is now. So anyways, that was a lot of randomness, but I feel like it has just been so long that it feels good to just... Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. Um, I don't even know what day it is anymore. I just like, I've had a week. <laughs> long story short, back in June, Louisiana had some horrible storms blow through and like it knocked people's power out that is still out today and we're like mid-July right now. My side of the family, actually like the whole area lost power so they were with us for a few days and then that following week, um, I can't even remember, I, I was playing catch up with a lot of things and the following week was July 4th. The fireworks kept Willow awake for 
I don't know, like, it was like a seven day span. People would pop three or four off each night just enough to wake her up and keep her up till like midnight. So I was getting like one to two hours of sleep. And then this past week, I haven't felt the best. Um, and I've just felt like, like I have been busy even though I haven't. And I've had to go to a few doctor's appointments and, you know, just regular life for me. But some weeks it's just hard. And my sleep is just really awful at this point. I'm trying to get back into a new routine. I'm kind of changing it up. I'm going to start trying, trying my best to wake up, like, quite early. And just stick with that. I think it'll help. Um, so, my plan yesterday, I was supposed to do that. <clears throat> and I can't even remember what happened. I think... There was a noise outside that scared Willow and she thought it was a firework. So she woke up early, but I barely got sleep yesterday. So then last night I was thinking I was going to actually get like five, five-ish hours of sleep, which is a lot for me. And I ended up getting like an hour and 52 minutes because at 5 a.m. our electricity went out. And this is like the third time that it's happened since all those, or gosh, this is probably about the sixth or seventh time. But... Luckily, we weren't without power during the big storms in June, but we did have little segments of time we went without. Um, but anyways, our power was out from 5 a.m. till like 8.30 this morning. So, I mean, that's the ideal time for it to go out. But it woke Willow up because her sound machine and went off and like the room was quiet and dark and all. So, I was so tired. So, I finally went in there when I realized it wasn't going to come on. Um... I put her in her crib and I just fell asleep on her floor with a blanket because I was that tired and I got one extra hour. So I'm running on three hours of sleep right now. Um, but I just got our groceries delivered. So I'm going to show y'all what we got this week. I do try to go to Sam's to get a lot of that. I go like once or twice a month, but I didn't want to have to do that this week because I'm trying to cut back instead of buying in bulk at this second. This is our haul for the week. Um, seems this sounds so silly but it feels good to be filming a grocery haul again because I really enjoy these um but just really quick overview I got some marshmallows I really want to do s'mores we have a gas grill now on our porch and um I was thinking I could do some on there and I got the little square shaped ones for that y'all already know if you've been here from the start of my channel Michael eats these like daily so I had to get him another box I got some sweet potatoes um, like I was saying a minute ago, I haven't been feeling like super a hundred percent. I don't know. It's probably got a lot to do with lack of sleep. So food has sounded gross and I've been sticking with kind of bland stuff and I wanted sweet potatoes. So that's one thing. And then I got these, um, Demi bagels, which is, or bagels, <laughs> baguettes, which is just, um, smaller ones, <clears throat> but I'm going to make like toasted tomato, basil, garlic type. I don't know, like, not like bruschetta, but something like that. Um, Willow eats these pretty frequently, and I try to make sure I have extra. She also eats these and has been asking all week. And what was funny was when I mentioned that the groceries were delivered, she walked to the door and she said, I got to go to the door and get my almonds. So we got her more of those. Um, I got four cans of the cream of chicken. I think I used my last one a few days ago, and I mostly use this. Kind of when it gets cooler outside because I meal prep with it or make soups, but I don't want to run out. Um, speaking of soups, since I'm not feeling like cooking or eating really, I just grabbed a few little convenience things and I thought these kind of just sounded good to break it up. So I got, they were a little bit more expensive. Um, the main reason I got it was because there was a coupon on Walmart Plus and um, maybe on Ibotta. I'm going to try to remember to include my Ibotta code because I used to do that on the screen of grocery hauls. But this is this has been a while since I've done this, so <laughs> it'll take me a minute to get adjusted. So I got two of the chicken coin, corn, bleh, two of the chicken corn chowder ones, one of the tomato basil one, two cans of fire roasted tomato salsa. I had no idea that they made canned salsa, and there's so many times cooking I need it versus just dipping. So I got two of those, gallon of whole milk. This is the laundry detergent we use. I hate raisins, but I like Raisin Bran. I like Raisinette. And then I got these shelf-stable chocolate almond milk to use, like, with coffee drinks and just as a snack. Um, sometimes I randomly want chocolate milk, and I really like that one. And I uh, haven't had it in a while, so I got that. And then I got a bag of sugar. Y'all, I'm pretty sure at the point we left off um, in Vlogmas when I was buying sugar, at that point it was like a dollar forty maybe or 20 and I was talking about how that was crazy expensive because it was just going up this thing is now three bucks so I got one of those um 
I got ginger ale. I mentioned that I'm not drinking diet drinks anymore unless I'm just like really wanting one. So I'm going to start buying regular like sugar soda drink, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm not drinking them every day. Just like right now because I feel a little icky. This is just like I'll have one today and I might go a few days and not drink them. But Michael has a ton of sugar so he does need to drink the zero or the diet. So I did get him the zero sugar uh cherry diet or cherry dr pepper that one's for him i got some plain almond milk um willow will drink this occasionally but i use it to lower calories on things i needed some sandwich bags i used them all up this week i used my last pack of chicken gravy and i was getting the reduced sodium one but they were out so that was a substitution uh still buy these i love these for breakfast and willow still loves them so we get those uh, pretty frequently i wish they'd done the thins and wheat but it is what it is some of these for her and I, I do yogurt bowls a lot and then she eats fruit all throughout the day. Um, I, I eat a lot more now too than these, which look kind of rough and it honestly looks like they spilled some of them out. So I might need to get a refund on that. It's just not looking so good. I got a yellow onion and a sweet onion, a family size Caesar salad. This is probably my favorite salad, um, other than like a loaded salad like a steakhouse style or something I don't know it comes close I love this one but I think I'm gonna end up using this to make like chicken Caesar wraps and I'll just use um, some mesquite grilled chicken that I got from Sands Club and I got mini peppers willow still <laughs> loves these and I use them a lot I've been making like kind of I guess like charcuterie style lunches and I use all this stuff too I got these I don't want to say what it is because they're too green to be eaten and she will ask I got the 12 pack of these for s'mores um, I was trying to get a fresh basil plant, and they were out, so they gave me just, like, a, a little cutting, whatever. Um, I needed some of these. These are also good for headaches, so I try to keep these in the house. Um, I need more pens for my whiteboard, where I do, like, my to-do list and menu, and I've been having a hard time finding the really fine point ones, so I'm hoping that's as fine as it says it is. This is... Pretty random. I only got one of these because I ate just ate this one. It was my first time trying it and it was so good. It doesn't taste like my homemade dressing and things at uh, holiday time, but it's very good. Like it surprised me honestly. So I got another one of those. I still have some <laughs> cranberry sprite from December when I bought those. Um, and I was drinking one of those when I ate it, and it was just kind of like a good little holiday memory. Um, so I got one of those, and then I got. <clears throat> The white chocolate mocha Starbucks coffee creamer. I did notice that this one has non-fat milk, sugar, heavy cream, buttermilk, vegetable oil, natural flavor, and gel and gum. And um, I've also been, so like I'm not getting the sugar-free creamers and then also trying to pay attention to a few things. So one of the things I'm trying not to drink as much of is like coffee creamers with the carrageenan and stuff in it. So this is what I picked for this week and that will honestly last me forever. <clears throat> I made these with Willow last night, and y'all, it was like the best vanilla cupcake taste. Did not even taste like a muffin, so I got one more pack for when she wants to make more of those. Michael eats a ton of mashed potatoes, so I just got roasted garlic, four cheese, loaded baked potato, baby red. I like plain ones most of the time, but I don't eat them that much. This has been like my guilty pleasure lately. Um, I don't know why, but just the plain LaCroix sparkling water. I've tried others, and I do like them, but... This is just the brand I've been hooked on on sparkling on water lately, and I couldn't get the plain at Sam's. I got the variety pack, but I've been buying one of these each week and drinking one a day. I ordered, oh, yeah, this isn't even close. This kind of makes me mad. I ordered the tablets of bleach, and you get like 32 for $3, and they were out. So they gave me this, and it's only 12 and it was like 5 bucks. So I honestly might return that or something because that's just a little crazy um some training pant pull-ups we are kind of potty training a little bit right now so we're getting older really quick <laughs> baking soda i use it in the laundry and cleaning some chicken bites which is like the chicken biscuit crackers i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um rather than try to drag it out i'm trying to take a laid back approach with my channel and vlogging um just doing it completely different than how i've done it last year so I think tomorrow I'm going to, I'm not feeling the best. I just feel kind of run down. I think it's because I've just barely gotten any sleep. Um, but I think tomorrow I'm going to vlog a little bit. I have to run into the store to get like three things. And um, 
a few other things I need to do. I just, I'm not sure at this point. I'm so tired, y'all. I just had an hour and 50 minutes sleep last night, and then I got in one hour laying on the floor of Willow's room while she was in her crib this morning when the electricity went out because she got scared. And then I spent the rest of the day with my family, but I'm just really tired, so I think I'm going to rest the rest of the evening. I say rest, but rest after unloading the dishwasher, putting up the rest of the groceries that were that was not like cold items, hanging a load of laundry, drying another load of laundry, starting another load of laundry, then I will rest. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and say hi. It's been seven months, which is crazy. Um, just let me know what's going on. Just, I guess, catch up a little bit and I'll see y'all next time.